Hey, I'm John Petrucci, and we have a brand new Archetype Petrucci that I'm really excited about. So when Neural first approached me about it, I didn't have a lot of really experience in the guitar plugin world. You know, I maybe toyed with a, a few here and there and kind of used them for fun, but I never really got like the, the satisfaction that I would get, you know, playing through my rig. My initial thought was, if we're going to do something like this, it has to really excite me in that same way and be the real deal on every level. I didn't want to have any situation where I said, oh, you know what, I wish it had this, or why didn't we do this? So we kind of address everything that I do. We started out with some really uh, kind of over the top conversations. And actually where we ended up is pretty much what we talked about, which blows my mind. When you plug in as a guitar player, the amplifier has to sound great. The tone has to be the tone. So, you know, we worked on that really hard. You know, sometimes we scrapped whole ideas and whole amplifiers and then went back and let's try this, let's do this approach. You slowly uh, and surely kind of hone in on what the final thing is. We really had to look at all the aspects of what makes up my sound, my rig, what are my requirements as far as tone, as far as features in the studio when you're there in real time and you want something to be there. Um, you know, so that covered everything from all the amplifiers to even things like, you know, being able to have Wawa and being able to have volume pedal and being able to have, to have features where you could detune the guitar just with a, a, a quick dial. Because I was thinking about just applications like rehearsing for a tour and I have to practice a song that I played with a guitar that was tuned to C and I don't have the guitar with me oh, I can just use my standard and pitch that down. Or I really love this doubling effect. I want to have that there. And you know what? When I practice, I always use the metronome. So can we put a metronome in there? So we really talked about so many details. It's my live rig, like every aspect of what I want to have um, at my disposal and at any given time. So not only the amplifiers, but the effects in front, the effects uh, on the back end. Um, and then taking it a step further, when you're in this sort of recording environment, one of the things we'll do in the studio is we will have a, a room mic um, in the studio picking up the guitar, you know, about seven, eight feet away. And that's not a feature that we've actually, we've seen on any of the plugins. So it's like, oh, it would be great if we can you know, incorporate a room mic. That was a Jimmy T idea. And so we had to work on getting that and getting that correct. And so now it's something that we would go for in a real life situation. And now it's in the plugin. Something about this sort of dream theater aesthetic and my own that, you know, that we've developed over the years that has a combination of stuff being like tough and, and, also modern, but also sort of as Hugh Syme, our artist would say, whimsical and kind of presents this sort of surreal environment. So when I think when you open it up and you look at it, the different sky background, the way that the amps light up and glow, um, it definitely has a little bit of an otherworldly vibe. Um, I'm a big sci-fi nerd. So I was like, right away, I'm like, oh, just go in the direction of Star Wars, you know. Uh, we talked about having the different amps almost be like uh, a, a journey through time of sci-fi, you know, it's starting with like B-movie and then going all the way to modern ones. So we went in that direction a little bit. For the piezo amp, um, I wanted it to look like an acoustic. So it has, you know, wood knobs and it looks like an acoustic guitar pretty much. And for the effects and pedals and things, we wanted them, and th this is what they're great about, uh, great at also, we wanted them to look real. Like it looks like an actual pedal that's there. It's not like a drawing of one. Uh, and, and to have them operate in that way. So some of the functions that a real pedal would have would, you know, maybe would be like a meter, a light meter, or maybe it would be something blinking. Or uh, even on the amplifiers, when you, you know, flick a switch up, there's a light that lets you know that it's engaged. A lot of thought went into... Yeah, the visual. I mean, I think that's part of the experience. 
I, I, I'm a gear nerd and I love getting new stuff and trying things and getting excited about uh, new creative material that just inspires you and then you start playing and writing. So that's the first thing I'd want people to do when they open it up, the way it looks, the way it feels immediately to get some sense of inspiration and, you know, have that creative George sort of swing wide open and it's like, this is so cool, I'm enjoying it. But beyond that, to be able to either non-professionally or professionally, whatever stage you're at as a player, be able to use it to actually write, record and produce music that sounds amazing, that's not compromised in any way. And, you know, to me, if I'm going to have my name on it, that it has to be that, you know, it can't be a toy. It has to be like the real deal. And definitely it turned out that way. So for me, you know, again, I'm, I'm, you know, admittedly new to this world. So really the first track that I actually wrote and recorded with the plugin is the song that we use for the launch called Mystic Fire. And uh, I, I got to tell you, it was really just a breeze. It was so comfortable. You know, it was the type of thing where um, I like to go into the studio, have an idea and start building that idea right away. It's like, okay, you know, go to the crunch sound. Here it is. And it's like, there's no guesswork. It just all the possibilities are there. And it was, it was a blast to write and record for the first time with the plugin. It's the first time I've ever done that actually. And I think it sounds phenomenal. 